Okay, I wanted to give uh, some comments about what to look for uh, whenever you're posting to your personal blog. Remember, your personal blog, for the purposes of our composition course, will be our online portfolio. So the, uh, the personal blog should be uh, professional looking, it should look uh, presentable, and what we're specifically looking at is at first that there's good contrast between the font color and the background color. So in this example, notice there's good contrast and uh, thus it's easy to read. Uh, that is the whole purpose is to make sure that the text, uh, one can easily read the text, right? So just make sure that the font color and the background color, that there's good contrast between those two so that it's easy to read. Also, be consistent. So you want to use the same type of font and the same size font throughout all of your posts. And here is an example of that. Notice that the font is the same for all of the, the posts here included in this blog. Also, make sure that the spacing is consistent. So if you're going to single space here, make sure that you're single spacing as well. So again, uh, there's a, some consistency here. If you choose to double space, that's fine, but be consistent within your within all of the or within the blog or with with or between all of the different posts make sure that you're consistent with the spacing uh, regardless if it's single spaced or double spaced uh, I will give you uh, the option so you can choose if you want a double space or single space but just be consistent don't single space in one entry and double space in another for example uh, that's basically it you can choose the format or the template that you wish, okay, and most templates will automatically have good contrast between the spacing or between the color contrast between the font and background. But what happens sometimes is that whenever we're co copying and pasting from our Word Online document, that sometimes the formats get a little weird. So uh, let me show you quickly about how you can go about changing or checking the formats within your blog uh, to correct that problem. So go into your dashboard in Blogger and uh, go into your post okay you'll again you'll have to check each one of your posts um, but go in to the edit mode within the uh, post and once you've done that notice that on the left hand side of your screen you have a compose button and an HTML button and you can toggle back and forth between these two the HTML is uh, basically will include some codes that uh, you may or may not recognize but it basically deals with uh, links different uh, bold or even headings um, all of this as it, it's presented here in the compose button the HTML uh, basically uh, is what drives uh, that type of uh, font so what happens sometimes when we're copying and pasting over is that this code, these codes, get um, uh, are copied over, okay, and we need to remove those codes basically. So, uh, you you basically have two different ways you can do that. You can select the entire text and go up here to remove formatting, and I, that would be the first thing that I would do. And then once you've done that, to double check, click HTML and just make sure that there's no HTML code and if there is still any HTML code I would recommend just deleting all of it okay and uh, the example that I'm presenting here is not the, the best example because you're probably not going to have images you're not going to have links um, you may or may not have even uh, headings okay so it, it, it should be a little bit easier in the sense that you can just basically remove all HTML code and then go back to compose and just take another look at it and see you know if the text is how you how you want and a lot of times what happens is the background the white background color gets brought over and then is uh, when you show it in your your public blog um, you, you have a white background now again this is not a good example because this template actually has a white background but some of you uh, don't have a white background so uh, double check that again check first under compose clear formatting make sure that you select the text first otherwise it won't change clear the formatting see if that works go to the HTML to double check make sure that there is no additional HTML code if so remove that again you can preview it by clicking on preview and just seeing what it looks like even before you save the changes but try that 
And uh, if you're still having issues or still having problems, uh, let me know. One last thing I'll say about the text is when you select the text, again, just make sure that all the text is the same size. So uh, here we have normal text. And you know if you select this text, you can also choose the type of font and also the size. So just make sure that you're consistent within both within each post and among all of the posts uh, so that there's some consistency in both the color scheme and also the size font. So I'll, I'll conclude there. Again, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. And uh, I look forward to seeing your updated online portfolios.